Hi, welcome to NASA Connect, the show that connects you to math, science, technology, and NASA. I'm Dan Giroux, and today I'm at the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. Over my shoulder is the Wright Flyer. This is the first manned airplane to fly under its own power. It was built by the Wright Brothers. This is the Bell X-1, the first plane to break the sound barrier. Notice how sleek its shape is. And this is the X-15. It's the first airplane to fly into space. Notice how closely shaped it is to a rocket. There are tons of planes here. Let's take a look. Before we continue our show, there are a few things you and your teacher need to know. First, teachers, make sure you have the lesson guide for today's program. It can be downloaded from our NASA Connect website. In it, you'll find a great math-based, hands-on activity and a description of our instructional technology component. Kids, you'll want to keep your eyes on Norbert because every time he appears with questions like this, have your cue cards from the lesson guide and your brain ready to answer the questions he gives. Oh, and teachers, if you're watching a taped version of this program, every time you see Norbert with a remote, that's your cue to pause the videotape and discuss the cue card questions. Today's show is about the future of flight. But before we talk about the future, what is commercial flight like today? And what current technologies are being used by pilots? Hi, I'm Connie Tobias, and I'm a pilot with U.S. Airways. This modern Airbus aircraft gives us the tools we need to navigate safely and efficiently through today's complex air traffic control system. The Airbus aircraft has an array of computer screens that give the pilot information about performance, navigation, weather, and the location of other aircraft in our airspace. About 10 years from now, over 3 million people will be flying every day. That's about 1 million more than today. Updated computer technology and faster aircraft will be needed to deal with this increase and to reduce the travel time between destinations. 